What is up? What is up? What is up, FS Club? Happy Monday morning. Good news. Lots and lots of good news. We got some very, very good new mods in today. And also, in what, about 12 more hours? Well, actually, about 11 more hours. We get the Anderson DLC today, guys. So, uh, very good day. Let's get into the new mods, guys. First, we go to the mod section. Make sure you click show all mods. Oh, there's nothing in here. It's just an update. Uh, medium tractors. We have... Whoa, that is not right. That is definitely not a medium tractor. Well, anyways, we have the Horse Toronto 4FX. It is by Tycon Kit. I believe that's how you say it. Uh, the Horse Toronto 4FX is a 4 meter compact 3 bar cultivator with a wide range of use, whether for shallow stubble cultivation or intense soil cultivation. Uh, price is 13,800. 13, uh, power range, you need about 120 to 180. Working speed is 18, uh, subsoiler layout 16,200, uh, 160 to 250 horsepower, and working speed of 14 kilometers per hour. So let's go ahead and install that. It's kind of weird that it's in the tractor section. Forestry equipment. Yes, guys, the skidder is out by Black Sheep Modding, the MF320. Uh, skidder M MF320 with one low loader. Uh, forestry machines of the 80s. So everybody was asking what the MF320 is for, for forestry guys. Okay, then under front loaders, we have the Lizard SH1 Bail Grab, and this is by Wobster. Uh, if you guys don't know who Wobster is, he makes very good mods, and I believe he is also part of Realmist too. Uh, I might be wrong about that, or might be, he might be just helping them. Uh, let's see, price is 1,050 and initial release. Thank you, Wobster. Then we have the Flegel Silo Grab Shovel by Gamer8250. Uh, let's see, Flegel Silo Fork. The Flegel Silo Fork are ideally loaded with silage. The fork is also good for bale loading. Price is 2200, working with is 2050, and capacity is 1140. So that's installing telehandlers. Got all those. Plows, we got the Lizard Neo Pack by uh, Not Ready. Uh, this looks awesome. Man, those colors on there. In this pack, you have two tools one heavy disc harrow, which can be used as a plow with six meter work with, and a trailed roller, with which you can be used as a cultivator with 6.5 meter working with. If you attach the trailed roller after the heavy disc harrow, you can farm your fields in one easy step. If you have a horse, no, no, uh, no, sorry. If you have enough horsepower with it, working with is six meters. Re recommended power is a whole 245. Wow. Uh, price is 22,800 for the first section and 11,500 for the second section. Daily upkeep is six and three. So let's install that one. That one looks cool. I like those colors on it. I think you got all those disc carols. Okay, we got the Agrimash AT by VNSFDG2. Uh, disc aggravate, aggregate made by Agrimesh. Uh, general information, the AT30 is 17.305. Required power is 110. And then we have the AT40, which is 24,110. Uh, required power is 140. And then we have the SL2, which is 3,500. And maintenance is three euros a day. Wow, lots of stuff, lots of stuff today, guys. Okay, power harrowers, got all those. Subsoilers, got all those. Let's go down more. Slurry tanks, we have two of them. Wow, Joska Modulo 2 by Luca. Uh, let's see, price is 61,385. Capacity is 15,785. Power need is 150, and the working width is 12, uh, 12 meters. Uh, the Joska Modulo 2 is a slurry tanker that looks like its own to make wishes. From the base color to the rim color, up to the hose color of the drag shoe linkage, it is possible. Uh, colorize, the, colorize with the standard colors of the farming simulator. In addition, there are several brands to choose from, which you, which you have this barrel. I'm looking for another brand. Of course, tire configurations are also not missing, and there are Trailborg, Nikoyan, uh, Michelin tires to choose from. Furthermore, the suction can be configured to remove slurry. That means. He can be bought with, or there is none available. Okay, I do not get that one. As a small design accessories, the frame on the slurry tanker can also be bought or not. Wow. 
uh, I can't wait to check that one out. Okay, then we have the Slurry Tanker 14 with Injector by Turbo Gamer. Uh, 11,000, capacity is 14,000, and working width is 2.5. A lot of like the yellow greenish uh, today. <laughs> okay, let's see. Next we have building technology, which we got all of. Animals. Okay, we have a chicken stable. So now we have a new chicken stable. It's by Big E. A uh, small stable for free range chickens with automatic feeding and egg collecting systems. Capacity is 495 chickens and it is 18.6 meters. So let's install that one. Okay, is that it? Let's see. Wait, snow. We have safety weight pack and this is by Smenny. Uh, special safety bumper and weight with positional lights. Uh, bumper is 500 kilograms and it's 550. Then there's a 2000 kilogram one with 1550 you can customize the body color and the strip color oh hold on that looks pretty good on that John Deere right there huh okay packages let's see nothing on that one uh, objects we have the multi filling station and this is by uh, Castica and Edge Gaming here you can buy anything you like the delivery people take 10% and 15% on crop harvest Price is 10,000 and the size is six by 9.5 meters. Jeez, lots of stuff today. Uh, then we also have Hall, which is by, yeah, I cannot pronounce that name. A uh, large hall for storing vehicles and equipment. So let's install that one. And then we have the large vehicle shed by FA285634. A uh, large shed to house vehicles. So. Oh, look at that right there. Right there at the bottom. There's a interrogator right there. Well, at least I believe that is. Heh. <laughs> okay, I think that might be it. Uh, other, nope. Okay, make sure we go over to the latest section, which is right here. Make sure we have everything. So today we got, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 mods, guys, 13 mods. So it might take us a while to get through these. So uh, let's get into the map and let's show these off, guys. Okay, here we are. So let's first take a look. Let's go over to, uh, let's see, cultivator section. Let's see, see if we can find any of these. Um, oh, there's that. There's a new one right there. Kind of looking. Okay, we'll do this one first. Uh, here is the Neo Roller 6500. It is 11,500. Uh, required horsepower is 245. Uh, let's see, 6.5 meters, and it is five slots, guys. So uh, there is no options on it. I love those colors, though. Look at those colors. Nice, 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 nice. Lizard. Hoses look nice. Everything looks pretty nice on that one. Okay, let's disc arrows. Is there anything in here? Okay, here we are with the AT30, it's 14,000. It is three meters. Uh, let's see, nine slots though, 110 horsepower. Uh, you can do tubular roll, or you can do packer roll, which is 1,500. So you change the ring roll, changes in the back, and then attachers, sewing section, or standard. That's cool. So let's get that one. And then we also have the AT40, which is 24,000. It is four meters, uh, 10 slots. Required horsepower is 150. Uh, cultivator prepares the field for the next sowing. So here's the bigger one. It has the same kind of stuff on it. Standard sowing. Okay, so there are those. Looks really nice. Again, I believe there's also a like a bumper for it too. I just need to find it real quick. Uh, let's see if it's in here. Nope. Uh, where would that be under mission ladies maybe? Yes, right there. The SL2, it is 3,500. Uh, it is seven slots and it connects up to, to of course the AT30 and the AT40. And you can change the main color on it from yellow, blue, gray, and black. Let's just get right on here. So there is that. So there is the Agrimesh AT pack. Okay, next we have, let's go over, I think it's back in cultivators. Um, 
Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. There it is right there, the Torino 4FX. It's 13,800. It is eight slots, four meter working with, 150 horsepower. And you can do smooth discs or you can do jagged discs. So let's get that one. And there's that one, pretty nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Okay. Okay, I believe we're still missing the other part of this, which I have no idea where that could be. Let's uh, let's look real quick. Nope, not in there. Power heralds, nope. Subsoilers, nope. Okay. Cedars, it shouldn't be in here. Not in here either. Okay, um, I have no idea where the other one is. Huh. And the lizard, uh, I guess we can go over to the category section and try to take a look. Lizard, lizard, lizard. Right there. Got a lot to load, there's a lot of lizard stuff. As you can see. <laughs> Pig food, all that good stuff. Nope. Nope. Fence posting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so there is the disc as, uh, let's see, it is six meters. It is required horse eight. Eight slots, 215 horsepower. And it can connect up to, of course, the Neo Roller 6500, which is that one right there. Uh, there's no options on it. Okay, it is being leased. I wonder why it didn't say it in the section. Because it said disc arrows. Let's see. Uh, should be in this section right here. Unless I passed it up. No, it's not even in here. I have no clue why it's not in here. So hopefully that is not a bug. So, I mean, it's not in any of these cultivators. I mean, the 6,000, I believe, is right there. 6,500 is right there. We need the 6,000, though. Maybe under plows? Let's see. Yeah, okay, it's under the plow section. Okay. So 22,800, six slots. So that one can connect up to this one. And you can do one big old go of it. I like those. I will probably be using those. Okay, let's get to the next mod. Okay. Okay, the next one, guys, let's get to them. Uh, let's see, slurry tanks. Okay, we got two of them today. Okay, we got the Modulo 2, which is 62,500. It is nine slots. It is 15,780. Uh, required horsepower is 150. It does 12 meters. So, trail board and Kian. Mm, there it is right there. Jeez, that thing's big. Nice, too, though. Okay, and let's get to the other one, too. The, uh, let's see, slurry tankers. And that one is, where is that one? There it is right there, the Slurry Tanker 14. It is 11,000, uh, let's see, 12 slots. It can hold 14,000 liters, uh, 150 required horsepower. It does nine meters, so it's a little bit smaller than the other one. And there's this one. So this one just shoots out and this one actually puts in the ground. I like, I like the ones like these better at least I know where it's gonna be uh, going to. Uh, so two really nice new uh, slurry spreaders. Okay, next one we have, let's go over to probably the shovels or whatever. Uh, let's see. Nope, nothing in here. Should be nothing be in there. Wheel loaders maybe. A silage fork, bale fork. Looking for the Fliegel Silo Grab Shovel. Fliegel Silo Grab Shovel. Mile belts. There it is right there. It's 2200. It is four slots. It can hold 1140. Uh, you can't change the color on it though. Uh, let's take a look at it real quick. And there it is right there. Not too bad. Okay, next one we need to look up is the Lizard SH1 Bale Grab. I have no idea what section that will be at. Okay. 
Okay, not in there. Wheel loaders. Probably under bailing. Where's bailing at? Bailing technology. There, it is right there. The SH-1. It is 1,050. It is two slots. And you can have it blue, pretty much any color you want to. So, And then we got telehandler, front loader. So basically front loader or telehandler. So let's get this one. And there it is right there. Not too bad. Uh, I like the hoses just hanging out the back right there. Okay, next we have, uh, it should be under the weight section, I believe. The safety bumper. Where are you, safety bumper? There it is right there. We have the safety bumper, which is 550. It is two slots. You can change the design color on there. And you can change the main color to pretty much anything. So let's get that one. And then we got the 2001, which is 1550. And it is two slots. Now you change the same things on there too. Oops, not by. I need least. I try at least to air like everything, so. There is that. We are running out of room over here. We got so much stuff. And they're putting it right over here now. <laughs> Look at all that stuff so far. And we're still not done. Still not done. Okay, now the big one. The moment you guys all been waiting for. Let's go over. I believe it's in forestry equipment. Oh, wait. No, it'd be over here. Uh, forestry equipment, maybe. See if it is over here. There it is. The 320. It is 70,000. Uh, let's see. 80 horsepower. It is, let's see, 12 slots. This vehicle can tra transport tree logs. So you can change the main color either from yellow, orange, or red. We have rim color from yellow, gray, or red. Trail, uh, trail board. Oh, yeah, I can't pronounce that. Then we have, uh, if you trade that, you can have Pro Grip F, Pro Grip FF. Ooh, look at that bad boy right there. With the chains, I love that. Design, standard, or grid protection. Gotta have the grid protection. Okay, and there is this bad boy right here. Everybody's been waiting for this thing. Okay, let's uh, let's go over here. Let's turn on the help window so we can know all the controls. Look at that. Here is the inside. Really nice. Feels like I'm in a cage. Okay, let's turn her on. Hear that engine sound. There we go. 320. Beacons. Is there lights on this thing, actually? Let's see. Oh, yeah. Somewhere. Oh, on top. There it is. Working lights. So it's got two sets of lights. And then you hold L1. And you can put down the front bumper. R1. And that messes with this. L1 and R1. It messes with the... Yeah, the handle thing. So this is pretty cool. I like this. Even though I don't do much forestry, but this is pretty nice. Okay, let's turn this all off. And then I believe it also came with something else. Let's uh, check over here. Uh, maybe low loaders. Mm, yes, right here. The 320 trailer. Uh, Dolly EF M320. Uh, let's see. Three slots. Uh, you can change the main color on it. You can do semi-trailer attachment or trailer attachment. So there is that. So this is for this specifically right here. So uh, let's actually get a medium tractor. Actually, let's get a large tractor just in case. So let's hook this thing up. that down and then let's get back in here now watch I can't even get it up there right Look at that. That thing is beautiful on there. And then, of course, fold it up. Get 
Okay, I probably should have brought it a little bit closer. But look at that. I would even put put you forward a little bit. Okay. Oh, it's because of that thing. But there we go. Okay, let's go over and take this thing over to our placeable area because we have a few mods to show off there too. It looks like this thing ain't really moving at all either, so. Really nice mod. Okay, uh, let's see. We have, let's go over to the placeable section. Animal pens. We have the chicken stable with feed silo. It is $234,000. Wow. 495, uh, 494, sorry. I believe it's 494. 495 chickens. Let's see how many chickens can the other ones hold. 400, but that thing is a lot cheaper. But this says for keeping free range chickens, it is 18 slots compared to this one, which is four slots. So let's put this thing down real quick. There it is. Oh, I'll put it up on the hill. Oh, well. So really nice. Uh, can this doors open? Let's see. Yep, doors can open. Whoa, egg, egg on a truck. Yeah, I can't even pronounce that all right. That is cool right there. Like a big old egg house. It's about time we finally get something like this on console. So here's where we buy the chicken. Let's just buy a few of them real quick. Okay, I just bought, I don't know how many chickens. So are they all... Okay, they're all back here and in there. So that is cool. So I'm pretty sure this is probably where your chicken feed goes, yeah. So this is where you, you feed your chickens. And I bet you the boxes come out somewhere over here. So that is pretty cool. It's uh, Yeah, come on, save it, save it, save it. Make sure there's nothing else. Okay. So that is the new chicken house. I like it. It's nice. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the next thing, guys. Okay, next thing I believe is... Actually, I think it's under sheds. Nope. Uh, nope. Definitely not those. Okay, oh yeah, here it is. The big hall. It is 80,000. It is five slots. Whoa, look how big that thing is. So we're going to put this thing right over here. There we go. It doesn't look right, but still. Let's see how big this thing is. Yeah, lots of room. And of course, is that a light switch right over there? Yep, lights on. So there's the lights. There is lights in here. We have like a little bit of fire extinguisher. And a little bit sign that says fire extinguisher right there. Oops. You gotta be careful of that though, because the light is really close to the door. Close. Okay, there we go. There's that. Okay, guys, I believe on the mod. What is that? bird doing okay i believe on the mod hub they don't have this up there but they have it on here for some reason which is right over here i believe this is only on console right now so we actually have a console exclusive yay uh vehicle storage it is thirty-two thousand. it is 20 slots uh it says that it's function decoration down at the bottom i don't know if this thing's supposed to be even released right now i gotta figure out where i'm gonna put this thing though <laughs> I ran, I ran out of room. You know what I'm gonna do? Here we go. Let's go over here. We'll buy this section of land too. I mean, we got tons of money. <laughs> okay, so back over to sheds. Back all the way down here. And where are you? I think I just passed it. Yep, there we are. I still can't put it right there. I own the land. What are you talking about? Nope. Okay, now I'm having some problems over here. You don't own... I own this land. What are you talking about? 
Okay, let's okay. Let's see if this thing works this time. Uh, let's go back over here. Go this time into sheds. Sorry if you guys hear some background noise. They're doing some road work, so sorry guys. Uh, let's go all the way to here in vehicle storage. Why does it keep saying that I do not own this land? I do own this land. There we go. I guess we're gonna put it like that. Okay, so here is this new storage building. Uh, really nice, actually. And the lights right there. Push O to turn them on. Turn that one on, and you can turn that one on. That is cool. You can turn on each one. Another one right here. So there's that. And then doors should open. Yep. And there's a light switch right there. You gotta be careful of the light switch because it is right next to the doors. But there's those lights. Really nice storage place. I like this one. I mean, we're getting some really nice mods. Even on console. Okay, last thing we have, guys. I can hear those chickens right there. <laughs> okay, last thing we have is under... Should be under silos, I believe. Or it might be under... Maybe it's under miscellaneous. Let's go over here. There it is right there. The multi-filling station. They are... There's a black edition and the regular edition. They are both six slots and they are 10,000 a piece. So let's put that one down and we'll put the black one down. If it'll let me. There we go. So, there's that one. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get a trailer real quick. Let's just get us something pretty small. Uh, let's see. Let's just get one of these real quick. If it, the store has enough room. I mean, there is tons of stuff today, guys. Tons. Okay. Let's go over here to the store, get this. I mean, look at all this stuff. There is so much stuff. I think this, ha this has to be like one of the biggest days of mods we have gotten. And just think, in the next few hours, we're going to be getting the Anderson DLC. So, thank you, Giants. Okay, so let's go over here. Let's go right here. Of course, put your thing underneath it. Push the R3 button. And we have wheat. We have barley. We have oats. We have canola. We have soybeans. We have corn. We have potatoes. We have sugar beets. We have sugar cane. Seeds. Total mixed rations. Chaff. Wood chips. Silage. Grass. Hay. Straw. Fertilizer. Manure. Pig food. Lime. You have everything. This is the one-stop shop for everything, guys. So, uh, you know, you get that. Those cows, you need a tail mix rations. There you go. And look how fast that fills. The thing fills fast. Okay. So, there we go, guys. Uh, let me actually... Uh, actually, let's go and we're going to dump this out real quick and get a new trailer. Oh, wait. Hold on. What does that say right there? Edge corn cell. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna empty this thing out and get ourselves a new trailer. That way uh, we can put some oats and everything and see where the boxes actually come out in the chicken coop. Okay, okay, I have some wheat, so uh, should be just put it right over here if I can get all the way over there. Let's actually turn on the help window real quick so we know exactly when. Okay, I guess it's not right there. Okay, right there. So it has to be really close to that right there, guys. And, oh, it didn't really take that much. Okay, so let's actually turn on speed. And we should see some chicken boxes coming out. Uh, let's also turn off there. Okay. So you guys might see a time lapse real quick. Here we go, guys. Okay, guys, it's been about three hours. Uh, sorry, I skipped the whole time lapse. As you guys can see, there is no eggs coming out. Where do these eggs come out? Uh, let's see. Anything do with this thing at all no no buttons to be pushed 
closed door. That's about it. Let's see. Go down here. There's nothing over here. I don't see anything where these eggs come out. Unless they automatically get sold or something. I don't know. Close that door, right? But yeah, nothing has come out. So I don't know if it's broken or what. Let's go over to the chicken area right here. Let's see. Eggs. Yes, just zero eggs. We got roosters. So no eggs have been laid. And they have complete full food too, so. I have no idea what's going on. Hmm. Yep, nothing. So, uh, that is the mods for today, guys. Let me know about this. If you guys uh, have an eggs come out or not, just, just let me know. Uh, make sure if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys pound that like button. And if you have not subbed, make sure you guys do like always. Have an awesome day, farmers. Peace. Yeah.